Come on, Ed. Guys, it's enough. Leave her alone. What's your problem, Holden? You've had your fun, all right? Now get lost. No, you've had your fun. Now we want a piece of the action. Get fucked! It's only a joke, man. Just chill. Naomi, they're gone. Are you all right? Thank you. This doesn't change anything. They were treating him like he was some sort of legend. Well, how did Luke take that? Well, not so good. He's pretty confused. Well, it can't be much fun for you either. Oh, I'm okay. I just, I can't help but think that Luke could have got past this had it not been for that pathetic article. Is that all that's going on or is there something else on your mind? Why? Well, you just keep looking at your phone. <sighs> Come on, what's going on? Um, I'm sorry, I was just hoping to hear from Rick. And? I saw him today with this woman. I don't know who she was, some blonde who drove a gold car. I don't know, but they gave each other a kiss. A kiss? No, just, just on the cheek, but when I asked him about it, he lied, so... You guys are fine now. Why would Rick be cheating on you? I know how it looks, OK, but who is she and why did he lie? Maddie, these are questions that you need to ask Rick and you need to do it before you hang the guy. Shortly, we'll have highlights of yesterday's match. Hey. And don't forget, coming to you live Saturday's Titanic. I heard about what happened in the caravan park tonight. I'm in trouble. No, I just thought maybe you want to talk about it. Tell me what happened. Oh, I was out of control. I, I hate her for what she did, but what they were doing to her was just, just wasn't right, you know? Now that you've got more perspective on this, do you reckon there's any chance you could talk to Dad and try and sort things out? Look, what happened tonight doesn't make any difference. Yeah, I helped her and, yeah, she's lost her job, but I still hate her and I hate him too, so just drop it, OK? Yeah. If you already know, then you don't need me to tell you, so there's nothing to talk about. Look, if you just give me a minute, I can explain everything. All right. Well, I hadn't exactly pictured myself being in my overalls to do this, but, uh... Yeah. What's that? Have a look. Why do you have this? I had it resized and got the diamond polished for you. You didn't have to do this. Randy, that woman you saw me with owns a jewellery shop in Yabby Creek. So in return for fixing her car for free, she fixed the ring. You're an idiot. Well, she was very good looking. <laughs> Great. I was going to come and see you. Yeah, I wasn't sure you were. So I uh, just wanted to give you back your book. It's okay, you can keep it. I can tell you that I'm leaving. I did the wrong thing by you and your dad, and the fact that I didn't mean it besides the point. 
had to realise that my staying here isn't going to fix anything. So I think I owe it to you both to move away. I want you to have it. You might get something from it. Whatever you might think of me, I really want you to know that I respect you, Lucas. I'm sorry for any hurt that I've given you. All that angst and, and heartache that I've caused you, and, and you've caused yourself, use it. What's that supposed to mean? You're a really talented writer, Lucas. Put all those thoughts and feelings into a story. You never know, you might surprise yourself. Forgive your dad. You're still grieving. Life's not black and white. And that's what makes writing about it so interesting. Sitting here, making days of change. She's gone, Dad. 